Hey guys, it's me, Fuzzy Polkadot, and today's video is going to be all about hamster beddings. There are many good and bad base beddings and nesting materials, but I will first start off with showing you the base beddings. Some safe beddings you can use for the base of your hamster's cage include Aspen, Carefresh, off brands of Carefresh such as Boxo, KT Clean and Cozy, Fitch, Megazorb, or other paper based beddings. You can also use shredded paper to make your own bedding. Just be sure that there is no ink on the paper. That way it will not cause harm to your hamster if swallowed. There are two products from the Carefresh line that are perfectly safe, but I wouldn't suggest for using for the base of your hamster's cage. That would be the Carefresh Crinkles and the Carefresh Litter Plus. The Carefresh Litter Plus should be used really just for litter boxes because it isn't really good for burrowing. And the Carefresh Crinkles is more of a nesting material rather than a base bedding. The Carefresh I prefer to use is the Carefresh Ultra, which you see here, and the Carefresh Colors. You can also use Carefresh Natural, but just keep in mind that the dust level is slightly higher. Now I will be discussing the unsafe hamster beddings. Pine, cedar, kiln dried pine, and other softwood beddings are all very unsafe hamster beddings that could eventually cause respiratory issues or other issues in your hamster if used over a long period of time due to the acids they contain. Another unsafe bedding is any sort of scented beddings. These beddings claim to reduce the smell of your hamster's bedding, but really it only harms your hamster. Hamsters' sense of smell is one of their strongest senses, and with this very strong smelling bedding, this can irritate their nose and cause stress. The last unsafe bedding is any kind of unlabeled beddings. These beddings aren't always necessarily unsafe, but for the most part, they end up being a kind of soft one, which is bad for your hamster. So I would always steer clear of that in any other big, cheap, unspecified bag of bedding. Now for safe and unsafe nesting material. Nesting material can be used for your hamster's hideouts for extra warmth and comfort. Safe nesting materials include shredded paper, any sort of crinkles such as Carefresh crinkles or eco bedding. You can also use toilet paper which is the most common of the nesting materials. Or you can just continue to use your same paper based bedding that you are using for the rest of the cage. A very unsafe nesting material would be cotton, fluff, or anything along the lines of that. This bedding is very unsafe for hamsters. It may look nice to humans, but it really is not safe. And this bedding can, if swallowed, can cause internal blockages. Or if they're walking in it and it gets caught around their legs, it can cut off their circulation and they could possibly lose a limb. A lot of people wonder, how much bedding do you put in your hamster's cage? There is no official number like cage size, but this is because it depends on your hamster's burrowing needs. Some hamsters burrow more than others, and this means more bedding than other hamsters will need. Muffin isn't a huge burrower, but she does love to dig in the corners of her cage, so I put more bedding in there. I keep the rest of the cage at about 2 inches or more. I also fill up all of her ovos so she has enough bedding in there, and give her extra nesting material for her hideouts and other hideaways. So yeah guys, that's all for this video. I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye!